Hey guys, Carl Cooper here with OnTheBlack.com. So, if some of you guys haven't seen today, uh, StubHub made a big mistake by sending out uh, what looks like to be a mass email to a lot of Mets fans letting them know that there were playoff tickets on sale for the Mets game. Obviously, that was a big mistake, and StubHub later on sent a, an apology to all the Mets fans who got that email. But this was sort of like, you know, um, adding salt to the wound uh, of the 2009 New York Mets season and sort of another embarrassing moment here for us Mets fans. So that got me to thinking and what I did was I put together a list of the top five, in my opinion, the top five off the field most embarrassing moments of the 2009 New York Mets season. At number five, what about the entire New York Mets uh, staff of doctors? You know, throughout the entire season with all the injuries that the Mets have, it seems like the medical staff couldn't diagnose anything right. And sort of the icing on the cake of that was Jose Reyes, you know, with the different diagnosis he's had with his leg um, throughout the entire season. What started out as something like, you know, a cramp or a slight pull turned into him missing the entire season. And now he just had surgery a couple of days ago on his to repair a, a tear in his hamstring. So uh, the entire Mets medical staff not really being able to get uh, any of the Mets injuries uh, correct this season. At number four is going to be the lack of attention to detail and Mets stuff at City Field. You know, all of us Mets fans were eagerly anticipating the opening of City Field this year. And I think for the most part, a lot of us, while we were happy with the ballpark overall, were very disappointed in the lack of Mets history, the lack of mentioning of the Mets, the lack of sort of Mets management making a City Field feel like home. So great ballpark. We all loved it, I think. Um, we eagerly anticipated the opening, but sort of the lack of Mets stuff at City Field was a little bit of a slap in the face to Mets fans. At number three is what I mentioned to uh, open this post, and that's the email that a lot of us Mets fans received from StubHub. StubHub really teasing Mets fans and playing with our emotions, letting, telling us that there were uh, playoff tickets on sale, and then, of course, uh, realizing they made a major mistake and apologizing to Mets fans later in the day. At number two is former Mets executive Tony Bernazar challenging an entire minor league team to a fight and removing his shirt. Uh, obviously an embarrassing moment for the organization when you have an executive sort of stooping to that level and wanting to challenge a team to a fight. And at number one, in my opinion, the most embarrassing off the field moment for the New York Mets this year is the fallout from the Tony Bernazard incident. Uh, after the Mets fired Bernazard, they held a press conference and Omar Minaya, um, team general manager and Adam Rubin uh, sort of going at it at the press conference. Manaya, you know, accusing Rubin of some things and so on and so forth. And that was just sort of another embarrassing moment for the Mets. Uh, in a season filled with embarrassment, filled with disappointment, uh, number one, Omar Minaya and uh, Adam Rubin going at it at the Tony Bernersard press conference. And that concludes my list of the most embarrassing moments for the Mets, off the field moments for the 2009 season. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you think I missed anything. If you have any other moments that you like to mention, leave a comment. Talk to you guys soon.